He speaks nationally and internationally on leadership, influence, storytelling, and fundraising. He's coached over 120 CEOs, C-suite executives, directors, and owners. Mark has appeared in or been recognized by media outlets and publications, including NBC, Fox News, Al Jazeera, Success Magazine, Real Simple, and The Chronicle on Philanthropy. With that, I'll introduce Mark Pittman. I love helping with leaders. I'm a uh, Franklin Covey certified coach. Um, I've been, I have master's in organizational leadership. Um, I've been leading nonprofits and for-profits for most of my adult life. And I just love helping leaders. Without leaders, and, it, and it's not a title, it's an attitude. Without people taking leadership wherever they are, our world doesn't get better. Uh, and the nonprofit sector, the NGO sector is huge proof of that because people in our sector see a problem and they fix it. And then they realize that they need to fund that and they realize that they maybe should have some organizational structure and other stuff. But leadership is just built into the very system of our structure. So what I'm excited to share with you today is how the stories, not only the stories we tell uh, donors and others, but the stories going on right in here can really sabotage ourselves. Awesome, so we've got a lot of different types of coaching here, but one of the things I love about coaching and having been an executive coach for 20 years is it's all the same framework. And it's all this amazing ability to bring the best out of the people that are around us. One of the things that we often don't see as leaders is we see all the pressures that we have, whether it's from middle management, you know, we have the CEO or executive director we have the, who has the board, and we have our own things that we have to get done and we aren't directly responsible for getting them done. That whole thing, I could have done it better myself. And so that becomes micromanaging. But when it comes to story, every direct report of yours is on a journey. One of the biggest things that comes to when I'm working with leaders is, I have all these pressures, why can't they see that? Well, they're saying the same thing. I have all these different circumstances, why can't you see that too? So as leaders, I would submit to you that using story and leading is having a bit of curiosity about the story that your staff is on. What's the journey that you see yourselves on? This may not be a question they've ever been asked. So if I say something about board members, I'm not meaning to disrespect, but I hear a lot in the nonprofit space, people say, I want more opportunities. If we had more opportunities, we could have more donations. What we need actually is to step back a few steps. And it's a five step process that starts with questions. One of the reasons I love this process is we can control the questions that we ask. That's something we have in our control. We can't control the opportunities that come to us. That's where we feel like nobody's responding to us. People don't like us. We're the best kept secret. But we can start being proactive and asking questions. If we ask questions, those could lead to conversations. Those conversations might actually develop into relationships. And some of those relationships might develop into opportunities, whether from the person that you're having the conversation with or them saying, hey, I just heard this organization is doing something, wants to invest in the stuff that you're doing. Could we talk together or would you want to go to talk to them? And that could lead to donations. Stephen Covey talks about a circle of concern, which is all the stuff we're worried about. All the studies that show that there are fewer donors than ever before, but we, most of us have a much smaller circle of influence. We can't do a whole lot about a lot of things, but there are certain things that we can do something about. Fewer donors, we can't move the needle nationally on the number of people that are actually being generous, but we can in our organization. We can show them without, beyond a shadow of a doubt that we love them and that they are amazing partners with us in our mission and the mission that is being done through the nonprofit. And what Covey said is, as you do that, your circle of influence expands, where you'll find people start coming to you and asking you for different opinions. And people in the community might be saying, hey, how do we get this done? And you, your influence expands to better reach your entire circle of concern. All of you have something to contribute to the conversation and people need to hear what your, your insights are. So please don't be afraid of sharing that in the hallways and, and the other times that you're together. Because if you feel like you are fundamentally broken and may not have what it takes, you may actually be really on the verge of greatness. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs>